Prosperity is a gospel. For you to prosper, you need the gospel. That is the instruction written in it. Joshua 1 a said, You must meditate in that book of the law day and night. Observe everything that is written there day and night. That is when you make your ways prosperous. You don't pray for somebody to be rich. You tell the person what to obey to be rich. I want to go fasting, 30 days fasting to be rich. You will die in nobody. Oh yeah, they work, they work hard, making no rest. You will only put food on your table. Prosperity has wings. Ego will it has wings. Any bed that fly in any tree that is full of fruit, that bed will perish there. But a tree that has no fruit, the tree, the bed will pass by. Prosperity has wings. Once it flew and come to a place that the obedience or the commandment is being obeyed, it perish there. That is the way prosperity is all about. Can't you see? Those that have what they to be prosperous, they don't. But do that and like okay, Rita, prosperity no fit us. People will say, if I'm like Rita by having this kind of jeep, man, I will keep my way. It would have come, but you don't have the will to obey. They're giving instructions. Matthew 11, verse 5. Say the blind see and the lamb walk. The leper are cleansed and the deaf hears. The dead are raising up and the poor. We always have the gospel preached to them. What gospel? For they to meditate in the book. So they can able to have good success. Meditating in the book. So prosperity is a thing of instructions. Prosperity is accessible. Wisdom is accessible. Act of wisdom and act of riches. Solomon, because you have no acts of riches, I will give you. Prosperity is the thing of acts and receive. Wisdom is the thing of acts and receive. You have to ask. And before you ask, there is laws attached to them on what to do for them to come. May this success follow you today 